welcome doll and miniature enthusiast. You are in the Dollyverse. <laughs> Today we'll be making a garment wrap and I'll be unboxing a lot of dolls. So I'll need some place to put all of my clothes that uh, come with the doll. So I'm going to make a makeshift very simple garment rack today. All right, let's get started with it. Okay, so first we start off with a bamboo skewer like this. Uh, let's see, yep, there we go. Uh, the bamboo skewer is, um, this one is actually kind of thick. So if you try to bend it, it doesn't really bend that much. Um, there isn't a lot of give to this. There's a thinner one. Um, so it's like there's one that's thinner. So there's different ones. This is considered a barbecue skewer. This is the same kind of stuff that you would put your, you know, chunks of meat or vegetables on and grill on the barbecue. And this one, which is a little thicker, is actually referred to as, let's see what it says, round dowels wooden round dowels is what they call it and you can get this stuff from almost anywhere i'll have a link in the description where you can find it on amazon i have my wooden dowel and so what i did was for the base of this garment rack i got a just a plain piece of cardboard and I cut it the same length as the wooden dowel. I also cut a piece of cardboard and I cut it the same width as my cardboard piece it's down here. So eventually it will stand up like this. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the whole thing once it's done, but it will stand up like this. Okay. So, what I did was I cut six pieces of this shape. Now, two of them I glued together because I want um, I want them I want this to be strong I want it to hold up over time so I did two sheets actually I could use another sheet of this to make this even stronger um, it does yeah just to make it stronger so one sheet I covered in this um, this fake wood they use from this tape. These tapes are very useful. Um, I've made flooring out of this, uh, made furniture out of this stuff. So it's it's like a fake wood varnish finish. And um, at times you, you can't really even see the lines from the wood, um, from the tape itself. Um, if you just notice down here, I kind of made a little a little mistake. But far away, you can't really see it. Not that, not that good, at least, because it kind of blends in. And I, I like, um, you know, every once in a while, depending on how you score the tape, you may get a, a texture like this. It doesn't really ruin everything. I mean, I, I don't mind because I just need it to. Um, I just need a rack, a garment rack, and this was like an extra. <laughs> I got two sheets of this and um, I did the same thing, covered it with a white tape. This is a white tape. Actually this white tape is the same thing I use for my background here. This is a cardboard plank and I just covered it with this tape. As you can see, this was a thick piece of tape when I first got it, so it's eh, we use a lot of it. So in order to keep the pieces of wood together, I use a hot glue gun. This isn't the best hot glue gun in the world, but um, nevertheless, it's my tool that I use. Um, I'm hoping to get one with a more focused tip 
because then I can I can really get to small places um, and maybe that will come along the way we're doing everything on a budget right now so this was a glue gun I may have gotten from the dollar store ages ago like maybe 10 to 20 years ago <laughs> it was a really long time ago but it still comes in handy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these two pieces together So I glued these two pieces together. You can do it all in the wood if you wanted to, in the wood finish if you wanted to. But I didn't have enough tape and I also wanted to have it look a little different. Okay, so off camera I went on ahead and doubled up my flooring plank, um, the bottom piece, and um, I covered it with tape. I also covered two more, covered all my pieces up, so this will be on this side, this will be on that side, and um, it's not perfect, like, it, you know, <laughs> it's not the, the best thing, but this is a quick something I want to put together so that way I can um, put doll clothes that I have found from other dolls on the rack just to have a display to see all the clothes that I want to use for different projects because right now I have two distinct uh, I would say uh, projects that I really want to do one is a space epic and the other one is a kind of a, a hallmark movie sort of thing it's sort of like a Christmas hallmark sort of uh, project and uh, I need I need to see the different clothes and the thing about building a dolly verse is that in order to build the dolly verse I need to look at all the clothes that are in the dolly verse all right let's get back to building the shelf um, so I am going to glue these two pieces together using hot glue let's see how this works this is my first time crafting on camera it's not the most beautiful it doesn't have to be All right. All right, let's put these pieces together I'll make them as tight as possible all right, so I have my piece here. It's all glued together, glued pretty fast. If you want, I like this edge the way it is, but if you want it to go even further, you can probably, you know, put a stylish kind of tape on the edge, like a thin piece of some sort of tape or even a, even a strip of um, uh, uh, a strip of what kind of paper is it? Oh, uh, or a strip of construction paper or some kind of fancy paper if you want it. But I kind of like this. It almost looks like um, sort of a retro thing. Um, I mean, like, I, this is really 60s inspired, isn't it? <laughs> it's like this stuff that they used to use in the 60s. Um, so let's just uh, keep, continue on. Uh, with the craft uh, um. by the way guys um, if you ever get a chance uh, look for the long glue gun tubes they're much better than the short ones um, and I use that for my glue gun hopefully this will make it maybe I don't have to read and start but just to let you know I'll leave a link for that in the description too <laughs> links for everything in the description oh yeah I'm running I need I need to insert okay and then I'm continuing on it's a little awkward for me to do this out I'll, I'll I'll admit but um I just wanted to show you a little play by play of everything. Alright, that should be enough glue. And 
Ayan. Yeah, mistakes were made in this one. I didn't, they don't line up exactly, but it's not something I was going to win awards over or anything. So I have a little bit of separation here. Um, oh, it looks like my glue cooled on me too fast. How did that happen? I hate when that happens. I really do. Let's, I'm going to have to try to peel. I try to peel up some of it because... Uh, this might be a lost cause. I really hate when it cool, cools on me like this because then I, it leaves a bump and so it's hard for you to get like a perfectly flat surface. So I'm going to peel up as much as, as that I can of the, of the glue that went down. Anybody else have this happen when you're like gluing something down with a glue gun and then it just starts cooling on you too fast? What's up with that? What's up with that? <laughs> Reminds me of that old Arsenio Hall show. Things that make you go, huh? <laughs> like what's going on with the glue gun? And the reason why I'm doing this is, of course, because I don't want the surface to be so bumpy. I want it to lay flat. So, okay, I think this is the good, best I'm going to get it. At least I got most of it, of course. And just when I was about to start, I noticed a huge piece right there. Yeah, this is how you chip your nails. But I'm, I got lucky. Nothing chipped. Not the best manicure in the world, but <laughs> I need I need it to stay. All right, let's try it again. Oh, let's try to do this fast. Quickly. Oh, no. No. Okay. You can do it quick. I think I made it. Just in the nick of time. I think so. It still feels warm in my hand, too. Okay, there we are. It's perfect. Um, sorry, that took forever. The reason, the reason why I showed you the difference between the two ske skewers earlier is because this is going to determine uh, the. Uh, this is going to be determined by the kind of hangers you have. I have several kinds of hangers that I have bought from the internet and a couple that I made. So, these are very common ones that you might find um, in a pack or something or with um, your Barbie or with some other, like, Barbie knockoff. It will work well with the barbecue skewers, okay? Because it's small enough to fit on those. But if you're using, like, the wooden dowels, it's not gonna. It's not even gonna fit. <laughs> it's gonna. It's gonna be like that. You're not gonna get it through. It just can be frustrating if you put together a closet and you're trying to, you know, put your hangers on there and you've got these. You're gonna need bamboo skewers. Perfect size. Now the only thing about that is that these bend a little. So you're gonna have to make your closet like maybe about that big. Um, to hold stuff on there uh, securely or, you know, a little bit shorter than the length I have. So this is going to hold everything I need and much, much more. It's very sturdy. So this is for, like, the mega closet, I suppose. <laughs> now, I made this cute little hanger out of a paper clip. You can see the shape of the paper clip right there. I used large paper clips or the jumbo size clip paper clips and I 
um, I, um, you know, stretched it out and I made this hook. And the cl the paper clip by itself is not very, um, it seemed like it was going to work. But once I started putting the clothes on there, it just slid everywhere. So I added um, a small um, piece of wood. It, this is from a stirrers, coffee stirrers. So I use a coffee stirrer to um, to kind of I glued the hot glued these on. If you can see the hot glue, I hot glued these on, and that helped to extend. And they're pretty sturdy. They're not going to come off very easily, but I'm sure, you know, they're not the best kind of hanger you could use, okay? And this fits perfectly on my bamboo skewer, and they also fit very nicely on here, too, on the, um, uh, I'm sorry, this, they fit nicely on the bamboo skewers, and they fit very nicely on the wooden dowels, okay? Now, these ones, I like these hangers a lot. Um, they're the perfect size, they're gray which is kind of a neutral color and if you wanted to you could dress it up by putting a color on the bows if you wanted to and I also just to, to show you the transformation I also put a little silver paint on it as well um, I use nail polish for this just FYI if you do use nail polish it will stay on a long time but it will also need to dry for a full day. I don't know what happens, but the interaction with the plastic really makes it difficult to uh, for it to dry immediately. So just FYI. I also showed um, uh, did one in blue just to show you an example. You can use one for a Ken doll too. It, it looks pretty neutral. It looks like a metrosexual uh, closet for you know a uh, uh, a Ken who likes to dress up. I also, um, I probably, for my guys, I'm going to probably use these in their closet because it looks a little bit more um, like manly. I also could and probably will cut these right at the nape here, uh, right at this point here, and then use bamboo, um, use these coffee stirrers to make a triangle. Um, I saw um, Miss <laughs> My Froggy Stuff do that, and it seemed like that was uh, kind of a nice way to make fake hangers, but um, doing it that where it looks like wood, and I think like a man's closet would have something a little more rustic like this. So, just throwing out some ideas to you. Okay, so I am not sure if I was recording <laughs> the last time I got, but this is the finished result. Um, it is, uh, let's see if I can raise it. It's a little wobbly, and what I plan on doing is putting something down here to stabilize it. But so far, it's performing the function that I need it to do. And here are my dollies, uh, clothings here that I can put on the rack. And uh, I can have like a little mini fashion show. <laughs> or, oh, oh no. Yeah, these dresses are kind of funny. These are from the 99 cent store dolls. And they're actually really cute dresses. They're just really, um, um, you know, they are made with very cheap fabric and they're not the best, but they're cute. Can't deny that. For the dolly world, no one will ever know. Uh, and this one is like a little fancy dress here. Oh no. So yeah, the, the clothes do tend to fall off a bit. So I do need a stabilizer down at the bottom to just stabilize this. I'm thinking of maybe um, using another wooden dowel and putting it at one of the lower levels like here or something or all the way down. Oh no, she just doesn't want to stay on there. Hmm. 
the only thing about the miniature world that is very um, uh, that I notice is that if you want to play in the miniature world you have to do things several times over because uh, things like to fall down a lot <laughs> so I want to go back to this um, the hangers that I'm using so it comes like this and I did my modifications here if you notice the opening is a little bit bigger and uh, with this opening you could easily fit it um, well see even this is having trouble getting through the bamboo skewers so um, and it definitely will be a challenge to get it through the wooden dowels so what I do is I take a um, nail clipper and I get this last see there's um there's a couple of little notches there so I just grab the last notch see if we can do this yep. well, I get the last notch clip it you get a little bead that you might be able to craft with later on so I save the, the bead you never know what I might do with it but it opens up the hanger um, hook so I can put it easily on here and I could put it on the wooden doll as well very easily and it stays pretty good too it's not open too much so I think that is it everyone <laughs> this is my very simple closet it still needs work but it's just a quick something that I can put together I think this is more like a mega closet I probably would cut it I would probably make a half make it halfway um, and you know if I had to do it over again I would probably make it half as big uh, but it seems to work very well. I glued on this with pretty much ease. Um, it wasn't very hard to do. And um, I just used some of the basic stuff that I have hanging around. Um, and next to the doll, it's pretty good. It's right at eye level. So she can pick she can pick whatever outfits that she wants hmm. maybe I'll try this dress <laughs> so everyone thank you so much for joining me today I hope you liked the video and if you did I hope that you are subscribed to the channel every subscribe really helps um, and I will be back with another video very soon. So, see you again really soon. Bye.